Well, back in the day, it was the place for the rich and famous and for urban Jewish families looking for an upstate escape. Grossinger's Catskill Resort in the sleepy town of Liberty has been shuttered for 30 years, but hopes to revive the grounds haven't died. Today on Abandoned Hudson Valley, we take you to the 1,200-acre resort, once known as the Waldorf in the Catskills. Grossinger's Catskill Resort even now inspires imagination and piecing together what it might have been like in its glory days when comedians, prize fighters, top-rate entertainers dazzled crowds in the famed Terrace Room. Today the Ghost Hotel is in ruins, distressed by time, storms, and vandals. Only a handful of structures remain at the complex where weeds and graffiti mar the few remaining buildings that still whisper untold stories from the golden era of the Catskills. The only building that's really still up there, the shell of it is the big building, the Jenny G. And that you could see from 17 as you're getting towards 100 coming up west. You can see it 1.3 miles uh, before you actually get off the 17. And it's just, uh, it, it breaks your heart just, just to see that building up there with nothing happening. Grossinger's was the jewel of the so-called Borscht Belt hotels, catering to Jewish American families in a day when anti-Semitism was at its height, a period when Jews were excluded from joining country clubs. Grossinger's and the other area resorts took them in and set the bar high. The family-run Grossinger's was a self-sustaining entity that even included a private airstrip and post office. According to Elaine Grossinger, the founder's granddaughter, the Sullivan County Resort, said to have inspired the movie Dirty Dancing, was the first in the United States to use artificial snow for its winter sporting events and became legendary for its entertainment, hospitality, and indoor pool. Now a moss-covered mess that looks like a science experiment gone horribly wrong. It's very sad. You kind of say, oh my God, this was absolutely the most magnificent resort and not because I'm being, has a proprietary feeling towards it, but it was, it was absolutely gorgeous. And like so many things in life, you really don't appreciate it until it's not there anymore. I just wish that whoever had bought it originally from us have been able to keep it. They had wonderful, wonderful plants. And uh, for whatever reasons, financially, I guess they couldn't because they went bankrupt. Thus was the fate of Servico, which had bought the 1,200-acre site from the family in 1985. The resort had seen a decline in guests due to the cheaper airfares, the proliferation of air conditioning, and the assimilation of Jews, as well as changing tastes in entertainment. The resort closed in February of 1986 due to the high costs of repairing and renovating it. The hotel owners also, especially the Grossinger family, they were visionaries. They, they took a, a little farm and created an empire. And I mean, it really hurts to stand here to know what went on here all these years and what it is now. And unfortunately, Gross, when Grossinger's doors closed in 1986, that February, it was a domino theory uh, right into the county itself. When those doors closed, it was like the heart and soul was cut out of, of, of the Liberty area and most of Sullivan County. It was two years later, Brown's Hotel closed. A year later after that, the Stevensville closed. And we started losing our conventions to Atlantic City and to, and to Connecticut. These ghost resorts in the Catskills now serve as eerie playgrounds for urban explorers intent on making sense and finding reasons for their complete eroded and abandoned states. It's very sad, it's weird. I can't imagine actually living in a town like this that has buildings that are really more of a hazard. Um, they're not particularly pretty uh, any longer. Photographically, there's probably a few things worth documenting, but it's really the documentary um, aspect, which is just recording for archival or future generations, the deterioration of this 
once vibrant um, area. So when I come up here, it really looks like it needs help. I, and I wish I had a great idea. You know, I wish I had the one idea that would resurrect um, this, this industry, these jobs, this tax base, this uh, liveliness that's gone. They're all falling down, rotting, squandered opportunities. They, um, Gross Singers is, um, it, it continues to be a, a, a lost opportunity. It's a dirty hole. It's this, the, the pool is intriguing and yet it's just falling down. The roof's collapsing now, the windows are broken. It's, there's still a summer peel there and it will be until the whole place collapses. Um, but yeah, glory days are gone for sure, in many ways. In Liberty, Paula Mitchell, HVNN.com.